Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today, I want to talk about selling your product to associated supermarkets. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be in their stores, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to selling to associated supermarkets. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So Associated Supermarkets is a retailer that is the largest group of independent groceries in the New York area. So they are on the East Coast. I love these type of retailers because sometimes you guys live on the West Coast or in other locations. You've never even heard of an associated supermarket. So I'd like to give you some ideas and places to go where you could possibly sell that you never even thought of before. So associated supermarkets has over 250 locations, which is a big deal. It's a lot of buying power. It's a great opportunity for you to sell to them. And I really enjoy talking about these types of mid-tier grocery chains where they have a lot of stores, but not too many, because that means that maybe not as many people are thinking about selling to them. And that means that there's less competition for you because a lot of times people are always going for the biggest ticket, biggest locations, right? So it's retailers with 500, 1,000 stores, something like that, they tend to get a lot of the big companies to go after them because that's the biggest money maker for a lot of people but i love these type of retailers where they have a lot of stores but not too many stores because again it really can come down to the difference between you getting a chain store interested in your product you making millions of dollars and it leverages you into other retailers with chain stores and supermarkets they love people who sell to different places and so again just getting your foot in the door somewhere that has a large selection that not everybody's thinking of is a really great opportunity, especially for people who are watching videos on how to make money with products because you obviously care. So the thing about associated supermarkets is that if they're independently owned, a lot of times that means that you can sell to them on an individual level, which means you can literally get in your car and go down there and try and see if they would buy your product for that particular store. At times when they're independently owned, some of the stores at least for sure has the ability to buy on the spot in that local area which means that you could start a business just cruising around opening accounts and trying to get things moving for yourself which is a big deal right a lot of times you have to deal with the corporate buyer at big retailers like Rayleigh's or whatever and in this case although Rayleigh's does have the ability for you to sell to them on an individual store level because most grocery chains have the ability to buy stuff locally because they deal with perishable foods. But in this case, when they're independently owned, it means that that they have the ability to buy a little bit more locally, which is very exciting. Also, since there's a lot of locations in, in one general area, it makes it very easy to try and open up this account more than, say, other retailers where they're all across the United States. One of the things that you could do is you could sell your products then via clip strip if you have a product that could work in their stores. What's a clip strip? A clip strip, and I re there's a reason why I'm mentioning clip strips right now, and you'll understand what I'm talking about in just a moment. A clip strip, if you've ever gone to a store, is a little plastic thing that fits a lot of products on a single in between two shelves. So if you've ever gone to a grocery store and you see straws, a lot of times they're on a little long, thin plastic strip. It's called a clip strip. And that's in between store shelves. And the reason I mention that is because sometimes the buyer does that all to get products sold that is relevant to that section of the store, but they don't have room to put them on store shelves. So they put them on these strips and in order for people to see this product hanging with a bunch of products on it. And ultimately, if you are in the beverage section, you see straws, it kind of matches with what they're trying to do. The reason I mentioned clip strips is because when you have a product that could be good for a clip strip and you try and sell to a retailer, the problem with that is sometimes you ship them the goods on the clip strip and they can get lost. So what that means is you know, they're dealing with a lot of moving parts on occasion. If you ship the product, they might put the clip strip in the wrong area. It does happen where things get kind of messy, meaning that they put the the retail store associate decides to just put it wherever she wants versus where she's supposed to put it. And then you lose a lot of money on sales. The thing about that is 
when you're dealing with the retailer, the supermarket in one general area, if something goes wrong, you can get in your car and go fix that. And I really like that for those particular stores because otherwise you get yourself in a scenario where you have to go track down the products. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you're responsible for whatever happens with this product, even though the retailer is technically responsible for putting in the right section of the store, stuff happens when you're working with these chain stores. So when a retailer has a bunch of stores in one area that actually can be safer for you because it's a lot easier to get in your car or fly in and then fix it versus that clip strip being in every retailer throughout the United States. And then you're kind of stuck because you can't really go door to door fixing whatever the problem was that's causing you not to sell your goods. So there are things that happen with retailers that people have no control over. And when it's in a certain area, that actually is very useful for you. The thing about associated supermarkets is that they also are owned by, they are corporately owned and they own Met Foods and any other supermarkets, different brands in the same corporation. If you're trying to sell to associated supermarkets and you're not getting anywhere with them, one thing that you can do is reach out to Met Foods or Pioneer Supermarkets, which are under the same brand, and try and get a vendor number from there. A vendor number is something that you get when you become a vendor. So if a retailer likes your product that you purchase order, they have you fill out a bunch of forms and then you get a vendor number. The reason I mention this is because if you get a vendor number, which is just basically like stamp that you are a vendor at that particular retailer, they usually share the software system. So for associated supermarkets, if they also own Met Foods and Pioneer Supermarkets, if you go to any one of these other guys, you could conceivably try and get a vendor number through them and then go back to associates and say, hey, I already am in your system as a vendor through this other company, which is part of your company. And a lot of times the buyer really likes that because she doesn't have to fill out paperwork to get you in the door. So the other thing to consider is that you could conceivably go after associated supermarkets. They say no to you. You go to Met Foods and then try there. And if they say yes to you, you get in the system, then you go back to associated supermarkets and they say, hey, I'm in your system as a vendor. And the buyer, again, doesn't have to fill out a lot of paperwork because you're already a vendor in their um, sort of general system. It's a lot easier for them to work with you. And buyers love angles where they don't have to do as much work. And you can do the same for Pioneer Supermark. It doesn't always work, but it's an angle. It's a strategy. The reason I share these types of things is because I really want you to win. And we teach people how to get their products in the stores as well as help them through our service business. We are a consultancy for retail, and we've been teaching people well over the last 13 years how to get their products in the stores and have had tremendous success doing that. So if you like this information, please click on the information below to learn about our company, or you can go to retailmba.com. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope this helped you and be on the lookout for additional videos that we create. We're always here to help, and we hope to work with you and get your products in the stores. When people review our systems, they get to learn in a weekend what to do and go after stores and save a fortune and time, money, headache, because we just get to the point, teach them all the different strategies and for people who are novices to the advanced seller. So anyways, would love to work with you. Thanks so much.